Hey everyone, so in this video I wanted to quickly go over making sure that your template is ready to be submitted to Framer. We get a lot of inbound templates and we see some common mistakes, so I thought I'd, um, I'd go over those so that you can make sure that your template is ready to be submitted and also you having a higher chance to be accepted on the Framer website. If you want to submit your template, you can go over to framer.com slash template slash submit. You'll see some template requirements, which also list some of the things that I'll be talking about. Um, make sure you go over this list before you actually submit your template. It'll give you a higher chance to not receive any feedback and just get accepted to, uh, to be listed on the site. If you're not accepted, it is often the case that you uh, do not meet one of these requirements or um, do not meet one of the things that I'll be talking about in the video. So I have a template prepared here, but it's not quite ready yet to be submitted. So I thought I'd show you what I can do to make sure this is uh, ready to be submitted and get accepted to the Framer site. So um, the most obvious thing that you'll see is I was playing around with some of the, um, the pages and I was just moving things around. So my pages aren't really nicely set up. So I'm just gonna make sure all of these are aligned and it sort of looks good when somebody duplicates my template. Um, I was doing this on most pages, so I'm just gonna go through all my pages to make sure everything is nicely aligned so it looks good. And I think this is the last one. Yep. So you'll also see that I have some stuff off to the side here uh, that I was playing around with while designing my template. I actually don't need this, so I want to make sure that I delete this so that when people land in the template, they are just presented with the template and not a bunch of stuff that is uh, around the pages on the canvas. Um, one other part that we need to focus on is the entire left panel. So we want to make sure that everything is really nicely organized and understandable for people using the template. You can see that I have a test page set up here. I was testing some stuff. Uh, but I don't actually want this to end up in my template when people open it, so I'm going to delete that page. I also have a few canvas pages, um, one of which is a bunch of assets that are being used in the template. And I actually want to provide these for people using my template. So uh, I'm going to leave this canvas page here. There's also a page called Explorations where I was just messing around with some assets. Uh, I actually don't want this in my template, so... I'm going to delete this page. And then for some reason, I also have a canvas page, which is empty called canvas three. I also don't need that. So I'm also going to delete that. The next thing we need to do is take a look at our assets panel. So one obvious thing you'll, uh, you'll see is that there's a few duplicate components. So I have download buttons, but I also have download buttons copy. Um, there's also an FAQ accordion copy and a block card copy. Um, there's some other components here, but uh, what often happens is that you use a component uh, from a different project. Uh, you then unlink the component because you want to edit it with, uh, which will create a copy of the component. Um, this is completely normal, but we don't want these copies of the components to end up in in our template. So let's make sure we name all these components um, in a nice way so that they're under understandable for the people uh, using your template. Uh, and also delete all of the extra components that we don't need. So I'm going to delete this component. And I'm also going to delete this component. And also the FAQ copy. Another thing you'll see is that I'm using the video component, which has an update. So before I publish my template, I want to make sure all of the components that are being used that are not mine. So for example, there's a few framework components. I'm using MailChimp and video. I want to make sure the video component is updated so that when people use my template, they get the latest version of the video component in the template. And now that I realize it, I am actually not using the video component in my template. So even though I made sure that it's updated, I'm not using the video component every, anywhere. So I also want to make sure that I don't include any components that are not mine that are also not being used. So I'm also going to delete the video component. So now the components panel in the assets panel is 
only components that are being used in the template. They are all named in a logical way and there's no copies. Let's see what else we need to do. The next thing I can do is go ahead and publish my template. Because I want to make sure that my, um, my template or my website publishes successfully. There's a few things that can happen. So if I go to uh, my site settings, then go to staging and versions, you can actually see that there's a warning when I publish my template. Um, this could be many different things, but what you can do when you get a warning is you can download the error file. There's also a support article which outlines what it means when you have a warning, different warnings that you can get and how to resolve those warnings. But I can download my error file and I'll throw in my downloads, head over to my downloads and then see what the error file says. It says there's nested A tags uh, and that the site could not be optimized, which means it'll be slower to load and its SEO will suffer. Um, obviously we don't want this for the template, but also not for anybody that's using our template. So I know what nested A tags are. You can find out what those are in the um, support article, like I mentioned. But this is a very common one, uh, which means that there's a link nested inside of another link which um, which isn't allowed in HTML. And I actually know where I have this set up. So you can see that I have a download button component here. Inside of that component is a link, which goes to, um, to a URL. But then I also wrap this component in, so, uh, in another frame, which also has a link. So this means that there's a link inside of a link. Uh, which is not allowed, which will give us the error. Um, the site will not optimize and the site will be slower and also the SEO will suffer. So we need to make sure we fix this error. So I'm going to remove the frame that's around the button. Then I'm going to publish the site again. And then again, head over to the staging and versions tab. And now you'll see that the site is optimized, which means uh, it is fast the SEO will uh, work as expected. And anybody that duplicates your template or purchases your template um, will also get an optimized site instantly. There's another a few things we can do. So in the site settings, we wanna make sure our template has a nice description, has a nice site title, and that the language for the site is the correct one. This will be shown when you share the template or the direct URL to the preview. Uh, with anybody. So just use a, a, a nice title for your template, maybe a small introduction about um, what your template's about. Uh, also set a nice fav icon uh, and maybe a social image. Uh, it just makes your template look a lot nicer, a lot more professional, and will hopefully help you generate some more sales. As a bonus, you can also get a custom frame or subdomain. So if you go to domains, you can see that my, my, uh, my website is published to an automatically generated URL, but I can also claim a custom subdomain from Framer. These are completely free. You can get a mywebsite.framer.website, but you can also hit the drop down and pick from .framer.photos, .framer.media, and .framer.wiki. So I am just gonna call this Fusion2 and claim this domain. So now if I click on this URL, you will see that my template is also available on this custom frame or subdomain, uh, which again, just makes your template look a little bit more professional. Yeah, so those are uh, the most common things that you need to go over before you submit your template. Uh, again, if your template was not accepted, uh, please take a look at these things. Uh, they are common issues that we find. Good luck with selling your templates.